Fight commentary breakdowns here. This is Jerry and Rob. We wanted to show you something that we're going to be testing out. Guard Lab, they do custom mouth guards, and we've been in touch with them, and we've been wanting to bring you guys. So you guys keep asking us, can we get some merch or whatever? It's stuff like that. So we decided, yes, let's create some for you guys. So, um, you know, Rob has a coffee, and I encourage you guys to try his coffee. It's amazing. Good. You can get these shirts on Instagram. If you follow Jaybird Coffee, just type that in. You can get these shirts. If you want these shirts, and if you want a coffee, you can search that up on Amazon. Besides that, Guard Lab makes custom mouth guards. So if you don't like our designs, which I think you will like our designs, but if you don't, you can always tell them you want to cut your own designs. But Custom fight yeah, commentary custom, breakdown. Custom fight commentary breakdown. So I have two designs right now for fight commentary. A lot of you like the jump kicking. So I put that one up, and then the other one just says fight commentary breakdowns. So those are my two designs right now, and we made him a Jaybird coffee. Damn. Look at that, Jaybird coffee. Yes. So yeah. So when you're choking somebody out, you can remind them that's the coffee to go with. Yeah, the coffee to go with. And what I think is really cool about this, I'm gonna open mine up. I actually haven't opened this, so it's almost like an unboxing. That's so cool. So. Got the logo. It's got the Guard Lab logo and then whatever logo you want to put. Ooh, these, these feel sturdy. I agree. These feel sturdy. If you guys do um, FCB 15, you get a kind of a discount on any mouth guard. You guys can get it directly and get a little discount because you guys are, you know, great audience members. And since we're at it, I'll just very briefly explain to you guys um, how this works. So these are the boil and bite kind. You know the standard but if you wanted to upgrade make it fit your mouth even more you do your home impression kit or even a 3d scanning to do the 3d scanning type you would have to go into an actual dentist's office but so they offer different levels awesome. yeah different levels and for us you know we're not trying to be mma fighters i don't know about you but, I, but i'm not trying to be an mma fighter um so we just decided to go with the boil and bite so we'll we'll test this out later and then Another thing I have to mention, because when I reached out to Guard Lab, I told them, I don't have perfect teeth. Rob never got braces either. So um, sometimes with mouth guards, it almost feels like if you don't have perfect teeth, they don't work well. Especially the custom, like, boil and bite type of mouth guards. Sometimes it just feels like they don't work. Guard Lab promised, they're like, oh, Jerry, you will definitely not have trouble with this. So we will test that, guys. The instructions here, two cups of water boiled, dip the guard in hot water for 30 seconds, and then you put in cold water for a second, and then you align it with the center of your teeth, you bite down, make suction, uh, use tongue to push it, and use your hands to form it to the side, so that's about like 20 seconds. Then you put it back in cold water, then you test the fit, and if it doesn't work, you go back to step one. So let us see if we can do this. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Hi, here it is. Hell. All right. It should be snug, right? So it's horrible. So it took me a few times to get this, and here is why. And I talked to Guard Lab about this, so you know they were okay with me talking about this. Remember that step I said where after you put it in hot water for about 30 seconds, you have to dip it in cold water for one to two seconds. That's what would trip me up because when I dipped it in cold water for one to two seconds, that was already too much, right? When you boil this, what happens is it becomes really, really, really soft so you can form it. If you dip it in cold water for even one second, it becomes too hard and then you can't really mold it. What I recommend is dip it. Not even, don't even count to one, just dip it. The reason is because if you take it directly out of the boiled water, put it in your mouth and start forming it, it might be too hot for some people. I just did it directly. Once I realized that that step wasn't completely necessary, I took it directly out boiling water and then I put it and I just started forming it. And it worked for me. I, it was a little hot, but you know, it wasn't the end of the world. My one suggestion, if you do dip it in cold water before forming it, literally dip and put it in. And then, you know, basically I'll just show you what I did. I just Hold on, huh? Okay. And then, right, the suction. Mm. Suction, suction, suction. Get all the. And then you just pour it, right? You get tongue to keep. I mean, that's basically what I did. And so, I was just like 90% fit. And that's really good because not their most expensive option. Compared to other mouth guards I've tried in the past, I really like the fit and it's comfortable. So, that's my review. 
currently guys have two designs and Rob has a design too so I'll get him back here to talk about his design too but these are the two designs you guys can buy from them I haven't made this one yet I don't know if you guys can see this you see it has like existing type of teeth prints here to make it easier to mold but this is like what happens after you mold it, it of course forms to your mouth if you look at some of the details of this this is BPA free which is awesome that was actually one of my fears I'm like you're heating something up it kind of feels plasticky right you put it in your mouth aren't you getting BPA but this material thank goodness it's BPA free so BPA in case you guys don't know bisphenol A it's called a xenoestrogen basically it's not good for men or women to have too much BPA in their system it took me a few tries to get this right because I kept dipping it too long into cold water before forming it because of that I got to test remolding it and seemed pretty good there was another guard that I had I'm not gonna say which one but it gave you a limit you could only remold it however many times so like a lot of pressure on my part I'm like what if I don't get it right the first time and then like you try you don't get it right the first time you freak out and then it, you end up not getting it right so sometimes it's good to not have that pressure of you only have a few tries to mold it correctly although you probably shouldn't mold these things too much anyways but if it's BPA free I don't think there's anything too bad about your teeth move around and stuff like that and you get hit and stuff like that so you got to make sure it continue to fit you we are gonna make the guard lab you guys have seen me make it but I think it's cooler when Rob makes it Bam. so this is his Jaybird coffee design and you guys can get it from the guard lab from our um, affiliate link and then, so the first thing you do is you put it in the hot water for 30 seconds and so um, one thing to do is make sure it doesn't hit the side um, hot boiling water and so Rob's counting while I dip it and then um, as we've experienced it before once you take it out you could put it briefly in the cold water but that's not exactly necessary from my experience that wasn't really necessary so Okay, so 30 seconds. Now you take it out, and now it's time to form it to your teeth. Uh -huh. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Yep. And then you do that for about uh, for about 20 seconds, and you can push the sides and front firmly with your hands too, if needed. So, and then use your tongue, kind of like you're you're pushing with your tongue too, and make suction if needed. And then. You do that for about 20 seconds, and then after 20 seconds, you put it into the cold water so it, the mold kind of hardens. Mm -hmm. So, um, does it feel hot? Mm -hmm. Not really. Okay, so was it needed to put it in the cold water, dip it briefly? That's one of the steps that we skipped because I found it actually makes it too hard and you can't fold, mold it correctly. Mm -hmm. I wasn't counting, but I feel like that was 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. So now we take it out and we put it in the put in cold water and then you put in the cold water for about a minute and then what you do is you test the fit and if it feels like it's not that fitting you could always remold it okay. so that's the key and so we get this for a minute yeah that was like really snug like from the start uh -huh. so even from the start it felt snug yeah mm -hmm. what Rob's mentioning is the pre indentation mm -hmm. so these apex bite guards have a little bit of a pre indentation so all it has to do is once you bite down, it just has to mold and tweak. It's not like you're completely creating indentation. So that's what makes this more comfortable. Mm -hmm. This is their low end, but it's still very high quality. So now he's going to have a mouth guard. Man, it's been a while since I've had a mouth guard. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. does help in jiu-jitsu because sometimes, you know, oh, when they cross man. face you and stuff like that. Get a nice little white belt knee to the face. Yeah, exactly. So you're going for a toe hold and it slips. Yep. And the foot just goes BAM right yeah. in the face. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. I'm pumped. Yeah. Maybe I'll sleep with this in tonight. That's right. Be a little night guard too. Yeah. I definitely have, um, I think I definitely sort of grain my teeth at night. Ah, uh, yeah. Has that been a minute? I think it has. Oh, yeah. So oh. now let's put it in and see what happens. I'm digging the logo. Yeah, the logo is really custom cool. logo. Yeah. Bam. So. Guard lab on that side. Uh-huh. Jaybird on that side. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. Does it feel fitted? Oh, huh. Feels good. Feels good. That's I feel like I could 
roll right now. Wow, that's great. <laughs> that's great. So Rob got lucky mostly because I had to do it wrong a few times, so I taught him the right way, which is when you put in hot water, don't dip it. Just go straight in your mouth. Your teeth are strong enough because the plastic, you know, it's getting molded. The plastic is not 100 degrees like the boiling water, so mm -hmm. you're not going to burn your mouth. It might be slightly uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and I think for a legal purpose, that's what they're saying, like dip it slightly mm -hmm. in the cold water. Mm -hmm. but. The key is if you dip it too long, immediately it hardens and mm -hmm. you can't form it anymore. I've had mouth guards where I could definitely not speak with uh, them in. Mm -hmm. And they've been like so big that it just feels like my lip is like way up. Yeah, here. yeah. This is great. It's kind of the ability more. to like push it in, mm -hmm. yeah, that helps a lot. So now we know, man, Rob really likes this too. And it's not just because we have their um, logo and they have our product. It's because it actually is pretty good compared to some of the other things I've had. You know, I, I got teeth that stick out a little bit because I never got braces. So, you know, this helps with people whose teeth aren't perfect. And this was the Apex Guard second time and you saw Rob put it on. Bam. Bam. Thank Our you lab. guys. Thank you to our lab.